In today's thrift store challenge video, we are headed off to Home Goods, find some things we like, get loads of inspiration, and then we are headed over to the thrift store to see what we can come up with for a whole lot less. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. To start this video off, if you are in the market trying to upgrade your bedding, I would say Home Goods does have some really nice and affordable options for you in comparison to places like Macy's or Pottery Barn. I would say that you would still get a much better deal at Home Goods. However, I do think that you can find literally the exact same thing at the thrift store for an even more affordable price. So for example, I found this comforter at Home Goods was $80. I found the exact same comforter at my local thrift shop for $8 and the shams are each a dollar. So total, I could walk away spending $10 instead of spending $80 for this comforter set. And while that comforter set was beautiful, I was really drawn to this comforter. It was originally from JCPenney. I loved that patchwork detail and I loved it for my daughter's space. So right now she is still in a crib, so I won't be using this quite yet, but we're slowly gonna be transitioning to that point where she will have a bigger bed and this was the perfect size for the bed that I have in mind for her. And I love the kind of muted and nostalgic color palette going on with this comforter quilt. Because this comforter set was already in perfect condition, all I needed to do was wash it and I just had to adjust my settings on my washing machine to accommodate something this large. But otherwise, this was an incredible savings and I can't wait to put it on my daughter's bed when she finally does make that transition into her big girl bed. One of my favorite areas to go through whenever I'm at Home Goods is the wooden trays and the cutting board section. I think you can really save a lot of money in this area at Home Goods, but you can also find really beautiful wooden trays at the thrift store. So for example, this wooden tray at Home Goods was just under $20, and then I found an even larger tray at the thrift store for just $4. Now, the bottom was a little bit beat up, but the top was in perfect condition as well as the handles were perfect, so I decided to bring it home. The reason I picked this tray up was because it really pulled in a lot of the wood tones I have going on in my space already. But then I came across two of these side tables here that were just $7 a piece, but then I got them 20% off. Because these tables were slightly on the shorter side, I thought these might make good table legs for this tray. So I wanted to make some sort of a tray table for some gardening things that we'll be doing this summer. But my thought was the bottom I wanted to keep kind of open so that way I could put my extra pots and extra tools underneath there, but then the top could be for actual like herbs and things like that. So step one for this was I had to try to get the legs to match in color to the handles. And I only had a little bit of hammered spray paint left, so I started out by just spray painting them black first. And then since I only had just a little bit left of that hammered spray paint, I just dusted it over the black to give it this sort of bronze-like look. I didn't end up adding any adhesive to connect these pieces together. Should I want to, in the future, maybe turn these into side tables and a tray for the holiday season, I still have that ability to do so. But I think for now, this looks really sweet for the summer months. One of the most common comments I get from you guys is that your thrift stores just don't have anything good in them and you can't seem to really find much. And I definitely find myself having moments like that too. Like for example, all I found that day was this pink tray for 50 cents, but I thought I could just upcycle it a little bit, spending a little bit of money. So I went to the restore to get some scrap tile and I just used some spray paint that I already had on hand. And I'm just going to arrange the tile on the inside of this tray. This project cost in total about four dollars and fifty cents and I think something like this at home goods would cost at least $19.99 what was really nice about these tiles specifically was that I didn't need a wet saw I was just able to kind of go in there with some scissors and remove the exact sections I needed to fill this tray up and once I kind of was able to kind of push the sections together so there wouldn't be any large gaps in between each little tile I just added some construction grade adhesive to the bottom of the tray so everything would stay nice and put and then I just sealed it and this is how it turned out. The 
next up, let's talk about baskets. So at HomeGoods, you can find really beautiful baskets for a pretty affordable price point, and they can really serve you well. But I do think you can find a similar basket to the one that you were looking for at the thrift store for a much more affordable price point. You might need to just fix it up a little bit. This one was just shedding just ever so slightly, so I just took some scissors and I just kind of gave it a little haircut just to make it look nice and new again. The only thing I would say, if you're looking for baskets, like a set of the exact same basket, Basket. The thrift store is probably not going to be the best option. I would say do home goods instead, but this basket was just $4. I think it's a beautiful addition to my daughter's space and makes the cutest little hamper in her bedroom. Next up, let's talk about the faux floral arrangements you'll find at Home Goods. So these can range anywhere in price from $12.99, I even saw some for $49.99, and I think that this is an area that for me personally, I would just never spend my money here because I know that I can come up with something at the thrift store in just a few minutes of DIY time that looks either really similar or just as nice and for a fraction of the cost. And if it's this look that you're trying to achieve with the glass vase, with a little bit of the faux water and the faux florals, I would still say go to the thrift store because people are donating things that look just like that all the time and you're gonna pay much less at the thrift store than you would at Home Goods. So one thing I like to do in my kids' spaces is just make these little faux floral arrangements that I don't have to worry about changing the water out and that they can't get hurt with. So I found that little slouchy planter basket and I also found these faux florals in the floral section. These were actually pretty good quality because the leaves also had a wire in them so I could manipulate them however I wanted. So this whole project cost about $4 and I was able to create something that feels seasonal and fresh and most importantly not dangerous for this bookshelf shelf display that we have in her bedroom. And an added bonus was that it was almost the exact tone of that little laundry basket I added to her room earlier. I think an area that home goods and the thrift store have in common is it kind of just depends when you go. And I notice it the most whenever I'm in the throw pillow section because sometimes I don't find anything that I would buy, but sometimes I do, it just kind of depends. But I just know that I can find really beautiful pillows also at the thrift store. So my local thrift shop, the Hartville Thrift Shop, sells all of their pillows for just $3. And I have found really beautiful high-end looking pillows like this one has this beautiful linen linear fabric cover and I think that it just fits in my space so well and was so much more affordable than anything at home goods next up let's talk about some abstract wall art and really all wall art in general you can find really good deals here at home goods for large-scale pieces which will make a huge impact in your space so I think that that's where they shine in terms of the artwork but when it comes to the smaller scale pieces I think you're better off DIYing something or finding something at the thrift store so while I found that tile at the restore I also found this and I thought this would make the perfect kind of like abstract minimal wall art and it was only 50 cents an area that home goods definitely beats out the thrift store for me are their planter pots because you can find really beautiful really affordable plant pots for such an affordable price point i don't seem to have that much luck at the thrift store finding plant pots that i generally just like right off the bat it's possible i found this little one for just three dollars that i put a money tree inside of but typically, if I find a pot that I really like the shape of, I usually have to do quite a bit of DIY to get it to the point that I want. So I shared with you guys that in the last video. You know, there's several different ways you can distress your pots to get them to have that kind of aged look that is so trendy right now. But regardless, if you had to buy all of those items to do that DIY project, you might as well just go to Home Goods and spend about the same price or even less. A fun take I saw a high-end designer do recently was she had a pot that looked just like this by her stovetop, and she had these really beautiful kind of patinaed gold spoons inside of there, and I thought that looked so gorgeous. So to do something similar cost about $30, and I think it really just ties in the hardware that I have in my kitchen. It's important to keep in mind those kind of practical pieces as well when you're at home goods. So sometimes you can find really good deals in the clearance section, but I do think the thrift store has kind of the exact same thing, but a much more affordable price point. I can only get so excited with a toilet paper roll holder, but I would just rather spend only $2, you know, disinfect it really well, and it's gonna do the exact same job as the one at home goods. 
Another organizational hack I saw, you can buy decanters at HomeGoods, but you can oftentimes find them really cheap at the thrift store. So I found this one for $5. And the person I saw actually used it for bath oil, but I wanted to use this for mouthwash instead, keep it by my bathroom sink. And I think it looks so much more aesthetically pleasing. As I told you guys before, I can't possibly keep everything. Another thing you can use for organization that looks nice are these Lazy Susans. So I actually picked up two for myself and I picked up two for you guys. So if anybody is interested in these, just leave me a comment down below saying so, and I will send these off to you. And last but certainly not least are the hand soaps and the candles. Anything that is aromatic, I think Home Goods is a major win because, for example, my husband and I do not like the same scent in candles or hand soap, but we can each pick what we want and it's so affordable to do it here versus basically anywhere else. As for the wooden vase, Constance A, I will be sending you a quick email to get some information from you. But that really wrapped it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other stores you guys want to see this style of a video too. And with that being said, I hope everybody has an amazing week and I will see you guys back here next Sunday. Bye for now.